Welcome to tea time number three. And of course, as usual, I'm just going to pour myself some tea. Apple has recently overtaken Microsoft as the number one computer company. But my dumb ass still has a PC. Man, I'm about to get myself a Mac Pro. I'm about to get in the business, join the party. But uh, if you have a PC, fix that A sup. Speaking of shit taking over shit, Justin Bieber is taking over music. Now, a lot of people I talk to just straight up hate Justin Bieber. Let's admit it, the kid can sing. And if you don't know that, look on YouTube, look at his first YouTube video. The guy is a great talent. But what really confuses me is, if so many people hate him, why does he have the number one album out right now? There can't be that many girls buying music. Like, come on now. Some dudes out there are definitely listening to that shit in their rooms and opening the door right there and be like, oh, I hate Justin Bieber. Oh, he's gay. Like, get out of here. You know you're the number one Justin Bieber fan. You know you like that shit. If you like The Bachelor and you like video games, I know you don't actually exist. But hypothetically, if you did, there is the perfect video game for you. It's called The Bachelor Video Game. If you get this game and you play it, you are a bum. A bum. And I bet you this is probably going to be a number one selling game. Because lots of bums in America just want to get laid, get girls and shit. And I guess the easiest way to do it now is to just buy The Bachelor game. But this game is just sad. It just shows what society has come to. Watching those actors on the History Channel is actually pretty fucking funny. Because they think they're this shit. Especially when they do stuff like Vikings or like, you know, Warriors. They're just like, yeah, I'm the man. Ooh. And you know, oh, you know that guy's a bum. Although, as a TV actor, not even a TV actor, a kind of sub TV actor because you know you don't really have a job it must be fun it must be fun to do the deadliest warrior the deadliest warrior must be great I would personally love to do it I'd be some you know African gang or some shit I guess some fucking ninja or some shit I'd just be like oh shit fucking clicking and shit oh shit get ready and whatnot that could be fun I saw death at the funeral I know it's been out for a while or whatever but I just saw it and I'm telling you that shit was funny as fuck why do reviewers just Shit on the same type of movies. If there's more than three black people in the movie, that shit is getting pounded in the reviews. I am telling you, if one of them's not Denzel Washington, that shit is gonna get a 20% on Rotten Tomatoes, a three on IMDb. I do not know why. This shit is funny. Give it a 10 out of 10. There is a bill pending in Uganda in which it is literally illegal to be gay. Not only is it illegal to be gay, but it's also punishable by death and sometimes punishable by life in prison. And even worse, if you are a Ugandan citizen and you are gay anywhere else in the world, they can deport you, they can deport you out of whatever country you're in, bring you in Uganda, and kill your ass, or at least put you in jail for seven years. Now, however, you cannot be killing people for who they are. What is Uganda thinking, making Africa look bad and shit? Oh my God, Uganda, be kidding me. I'm black, y'all, and I'm black, y'all, and I'm blacker than black, and I'm black, y'all, and I'm black, y'all, and I'm black, y'all, and I'm blacker than black, and I'm black, y'all.